um, it says philosophy class. Do any of you know what philosophy is? It's kind of a difficult thing to, to explain, but um, like uh, many things um, in English, you'll, you'll see that a lot of these long words can actually uh, be broken down into two parts. So, so this word here comes from philo and sophie. You'll see that phil or philo or file or something um, basically means love. Um, so so uh, we actually have a word anglophile, which means to love English, or sinophile, to, to love Chinese. Uh, and then sophie can, uh, basically means wisdom. Um, so, so philosophy literally means love of wisdom. Uh, and um, basically what it is about is trying to find the answer to the meaning of things, so like what is the meaning of life? Uh, where does our universe come from? Uh, all of these kind of really big, complicated uh, questions. Okay, so we're going to listen to this now. Okay, listening to philosophy class. Why does the professor say this? Good observation. Let's take that a step further. Good observation. Let's take that a step further. They all attempted to explain the unknown in terms of the familiar, instead of looking to the current mythologies or to a divine presence. And that's what is truly extraordinary about these pre-Socratic philosophers. So, um, she's not happy with the student's response. Um, she's introducing an alternative view. She's going to expand on the comments. Um, she's ending the discussion. And um, so to take a step basically means to walk forward. And of course, walk forward means to progress, to develop. So, so basically he makes this observation and then she talks, she develops the idea further. And this, of course, is C, yeah. Okay, so um, what does the professor mean when she says this? Okay, all of this appears on the surface to be very positive, right? Okay, all of this appears on the surface to be very positive, right? But at the time, many philosophers, as well as ordinary citizens, were feeling much less comfortable with the very sparse tenets of emerging science than they had been with the rich and complicated stories that had explained the universe for them. Um, she's ex expressing strong agreement. Um, she is introducing doubt. Um, she is maintaining a neutral position. Um, she's asking the students to agree. So uh, the answer to this is B, yeah. Okay, so, so there's a couple of ways here. One is from the context, but, but also partly from the language. Now, it's, it, it begins by saying, okay, all of this appears. Now, she could just say all of this is. Um, she very deliberately uses the word appear. Um, appear means what we see. <laughs> Uh, and what we see is not always true. I, I, I don't know if I can do this in the class. Um, can you see how many fingers I have? So maybe you can take some time to count my fingers. Okay, well, if you count very closely, you will see that I have nine fingers. <gasps> Where did my other one go? What appears to be there is not always what is there. So, so she's very deliberately saying this. It appears to be very positive. Um, the other point, though, is she makes, she uses this word. Um, surface means, basically means on the outside and of course what that means is maybe on the inside 
it's not very positive. Um, you may have had this experience before. Um, you, you buy some fruit and it looks beautiful on the outside, on the surface, and you take a bite into it and it's all brown and rotten inside. Or maybe there's even a little maggot wriggling in the way and you go, oh. Um, the outside is not always the same as the middle. So, so she's giving this impression, well, okay, it looks all very nice. but and, and then actually she followed this immediately by saying, but, and she talked about the negative side to this. So here she's definitely introducing doubts.